All eyes on Casey Stoner at Phillip Island today as he chases his third straight Australian MotoGP victory. If practice and qualifying is anything to go by, the Savo's race will be a beauty. Randy Depugne had his problems in practice. He eventually qualified eighth. The boys bracing themselves for whatever the elements toss up today. Marco Melandri wouldn't have impressed the animal lovers. See you later, Mr. Seagull. Melandri 14th fastest. Casey Stoner's been blowing up about the surface. He's had grip problems, but he turned it on in qualifying. Danny Pedrosa secured a front row start despite coming a gutter, lost the nose going into the southern loop. The Spaniard third fastest. He was seven tenths of a second off the pace. Valentino Rossi's looking to extend his championship lead today. He's 18 clear of Lorenzo. He'll start fourth. The doctor thought he had pole after clocking one minute 30.39 late in the session, but Stoner stole the show with a last lap screamer. The former world champion, just his second race back from that long layoff with illness, turning it on at the death. The home fans loving it. Stoner sealing his first pole since the season opener. Time to tee it up with the European Golf Tour moving day at the Portugal Masters. Portrick Harrington going the wrong way on the leaderboard. The Irishman dropping from outright third to a share for ninth with a one under par 71. He is six shots off the pace at 14 under the card. Charles Schwartzel's been in contention all week, but he too slipped a little with a 71. The South African in a share for fifth at 15 under. Nice way to save par there at the 12th. Overnight leader Francesco Molinari kept himself in the mix with a 68. It's the third straight day he shot in the 60s. The Italian picking up his first shot at the second. He ended up nailing six birds, but gave a couple of shots away. He is outright second at 19 under. One behind Ratif Hussein, who tore it up again, matching his eight under second round with another 64. His eagle at the second to highlight. That was after birding the first, as you do. Hussein with just the one bogus. He nailed seven birds to be at the top at 20 under. A nice form reversal from the 40-year-old who failed to win a match at last weekend's President's Cup. Round 11 of the A-League continued in Brisbane last night. Rado Vidasic running the show for the Roar after... Frank Farina sacking Ange Postacoglu takes over Monday. The Mariners searching for their first win since round seven. The visitors off to a dream start there. What about that? Nicky Travis finding the back of the net in the fourth minute. 1-0 Central Coast. It's been a long week for the Raw. Will it get longer? Four minutes later. Raw with a raid. Van Dijk. Saved by Vukovic. Oh, Danny, sharp as a razor there. It was a frantic start. Eighth, 18th minute. The Mariners not holding back an attack. Hutchinson. Backs himself, poor defence from Brisbane. The Central Coast in control, 2-0 the roar. Asleep at the back. That was the half-time score. Hutchinson, nice footwork. To the 70th minute, Brizzy defender Luke Devere with a poor pass, swept on by Bowich. Bowich finishes it off, 3-0. Brisbane's heads are down, terrible stuff from the hosts. This is the Farida factor, see? Sack your coach, and this is what happens. Brisbane launched a late raid, but they came up short. They had more possession and three times more shots on goal, but they couldn't get on the board. The Mariners back in the winner's circle, 3-0.